like 1.30 and I started this at 8 a.m. And now I just have a giant disaster. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So today we are going to be out in my yard. Um, we had a nice little rain over the week. It was kind of a surprise. And uh, because of that, there were some things that were left out that shouldn't have been, but regardless, so we're going to do a quick little cleanup and then we're going to go around and do a little yard tour because I haven't done one in a while and it's time of year where things are looking pretty good. So let's go check it. I never get anything done because one thing leads to another before you know it I have a backyard full of stuff and I'm hungry I'm gonna go eat some lunch and then watch I'll get distracted seeing something else in the kitchen so <laughs> come along with me and have some lunch together never mind the messy house because that's what Saturdays are for right so I'm gonna make a little breakfast lunch ish deal I already started melting some butter. I'm going to make a little sourdough bullet, I call it. gorgeous beautiful day all right I'm gonna finish this up and then we will finish cleaning okay well as what typically happens a small little project turned into a grand scale not mess but oh my goodness it's like 1 30 and I started this at 8 a.m. And now I just have a giant disaster. I'm oh, <laughs> show you guys what is happening. Okay. This is looking great. All nice and clean and fresh. And I hose down the house and all good things. However, when did I acquire so many plants and where have these been? So this is all like little propagation stuff. Those don't even count. But look at this. Honestly, I, I don't even know, but oh my goodness. This is going to take a lot longer than I anticipated to put these all in a uh, semi put together fashion. So uh, hope you guys enjoy and uh, get inspired to go clean your yard because that's what this is turning into. <laughs> Alrighty, let's keep going. So that little two hour project ended up taking the whole weekend. But anyway, finally done. It's in the morning. I'm headed off to work and it's a gorgeous day out there. So I figured let's go do a quick little well, not all too quick, but a little slow tour of the backyard. So let's go check everything out. It's looking really pretty out here for sure. Looks like it's going to be a very nice day. Okay. So first over here, everything I've had for quite some time, but this is the newest one. Unfortunately, I don't know what it is. It's some type of a puntia, but just look how flat he is. It looks like he got smushed. Kind of reminds me of like Gumby or something. Although Gumby's not as flat, but anyway, pretty close to flat. <laughs> so that one is my newest one. I love him so much. He's already gotten all of these new little, these are all new and he's really not at all spiky. There's probably a bunch of little glockids in here, but he's pretty, he's pretty safe. This actually I'm pretty excited about. This was a newer uh, one about a couple months ago, but see when I started, all he was was this, just one of these. And unfortunately I don't even know what this is. So if anybody knows what this plant is, 
go ahead and let me know. Maybe this is a type of Celia. I'm really not sure, but he definitely is a very prolific grower. <laughs> so like I said, this was just him by himself. I probably got this plant in about June-ish of this year, May, June. So we're in October. Anyway, that looking really pretty in one of my favorite pots of all times. How gorgeous is that? This Stapelia here is going to try and bloom, it looks like. I'm really hoping it does. I have yet to have one that blooms, so I'm kind of excited if it actually does it. A little pack of podium that just leafed out, so I'm assuming I'll be getting some flowers. Medusa guy is looking much better. He kind of perked up, gave him some water. It's amazing what water can do. <laughs> oh my goodness, I left this poor guy out in the rain. It wasn't supposed to rain that we knew of, and then all of a sudden we had a little one inch deluge, which <laughs> for here is a lot of rain. And unfortunately, this thing has no drainage. So make sure when you have plants that don't have drainage that you make sure they stay under coverings because luckily he seems to be okay. But I think I just lucked out. who has really gotten way bigger since I just repotted him up like a month or so ago. There's another little mangabe I potted up from the mommy plant. Here's one thing I was really happy I caught in time, I think. I have to give him another treatment, but he, had, he was covered with scales and I had him somewhere that I kind of forgot about. But how cute is he? He's like waving at you. Anyway, really, really cute. I like him a lot, so... Make sure you pay attention to your plants because if you leave them too long, bad things can happen and it can be quite irreversible. <laughs> you can tell I don't use my grill very much. Also, I don't think it works. I think I need new um, propane. So here's my little Aeonium collection going and these, the rain just made them so happy. They um, had been looking super stressed. I was watering them. They weren't really caring about my water, but that one little day of rain and oh my goodness, they just perked up like crazy. Like look at that and all those little babies. Just beautiful this one too right here he was like brown see how that brown right there he was all brown and then just overnight he just turned green and happy has some little babies over in the corner which this one sends to pup pretty well too so i might have to just repot him within who knows how long this one's also really pretty have those little slight reddish couple reddish leaves from its past stressing but other than that super cute Aeoniums. Now that it is getting to be fall, the Aeoniums are starting to wake up. See, look at that. Unfortunately, I don't know what that one is. God, this is a swamp meat, but it is beautiful. And 
you can start playing with your uniums. <laughs> so all these little babies I'm going to be cutting off so I can have some more because some burst aeonium is probably my most favorite aeonium. So I definitely want more of those. This is, I think, one of my most favorite planters. It just has a hodgepodge of really pretty plants. So first of all, we have these um, kitten paws. They're variegated and I just love having little red, red tips at the end. That just means they're getting a good amount of sun, which is gorgeous and it just sets off that variegation really nicely. We have this nice little red, um, it's a Aeonium uh, Irish Bouquet, but see how it's super red, but then you have green down here. So this is just distressed summer color and um, a lot of them bloomed off so they're going to be dying back anyway but here we have a bunch of brand new growth that's definitely not stressed out and those are all around the corners this little echeveria right here i love these little warts if you guys didn't know this is a type of virus that the plants get but there's absolutely nothing wrong with this virus it doesn't do anything except make these nice little warts which to me is the best kind of virus to have so we definitely are liking that and then over here we have another Echeveria, which is just really, really cool. I absolutely love this one. I love the little wordiness of it. It's a unique, a very unique one in my opinion. Okay, got this nice little Leucodendron, which the um, bees absolutely love these little flowers. When I was out here yesterday in the evening, they were all having a good old time. Okay, and then... The next thing, oh, then check out these Echeveria Fire Nice. The rain and the bottom leaves were not a fan of each other, but other than that, looking really good. This is looking, look how huge these are. I'm very excited about this. This is a uh, Senecio, I think it's like raindrops or something. These two I need to be reworking, so I just left them here to remind myself. This actually doesn't look as bad as it is, but this my whole memory, it's actually dead. These all are just rotted. So it has a nice uh, perception of cute cohesiveness, but it's not as dead. Um, this is a little fire, um, what's it called? Oh, it's a fairy uh, castle cactus. He's okay looking. Sometimes people have them that are a lot more green, but he usually gets full sun, so not his best look sometimes. Let's see here, over here. Oh, this one I planted about a month ago. He's really nice. Aeonium with some really cute little cubic frost down below. And some more sunburst aeoniums. Really liking that. Just your little Haworthias and a Mesembethum. Oh look, I think he's getting ready to flower. Oh, that's literally brand new. Look how cute. So that's new. He's just getting ready to flower up. Okay, and then we've got the backyard. Okay, so basically I just took some of my different pots and put them out here just to empty spaces where my little herb garden is because I think it adds a little something something over here okay this is really sad I have no idea what happened here this was my woolly bush well I'm hoping it still is but it was really happy up until about a week ago and then we had rain and he just but we didn't get a lot of rain I mean I'm talking an inch this isn't like a you know 20 inch rain but I'm hoping for the best Okay, this is looking really, everything just perked up. It's just amazing what some rain can do. <laughs> oh, like this right here, he was the most shriveled, saddest looking Echeveria in the world. And he's just perked up so nicely. These aloes have changed to a nice, happy green color. Just, so these aloe veras are super, these are actually, um, these aren't aloe veras. These are blue elves. They're no longer, yeah, these are blue elves. These are not aloe veras. These are aloe veras right here. So these aloe veras have also perked up. There's one, two, there's a third one, and there's a fourth one over in the wheelbarrow. So they definitely have enjoyed the rain. The salad needs to be get divided. Look at all the little babies. But this up here is probably, well, I have two 
two, three favorites in this whole section. But this right here is looking really nice. These uh, fried eyes are definitely kind of taking over. So I might need to come through and kind of give it a nice little pruning, but now is the time to do that. So look how this Aeonium has just taken off. Um, he's looking really, he literally woke up like this week because that one in the back too. They're like, oh, it's finally not a thousand degrees. Okay, this Aeonium, I actually left things in so I remember this. This one is a type of Aeonium Arbarium Atropurpua, I think it is. Usually he's nice and dark. So, but right now he's got the nice little pinkish tips. This, I'm really, this is my second favorite right here with this ice plant. The colors are just gorgeous it's just kind of spread in and knitted in really well with all the other different plants that little dark echeveri gets kind of lost in there actually huh he would actually look pretty good in the middle but then this area isn't completely filled in yet but that's, it's still got one of my favorite echeverias so that's the echeveri sahara and he's looking really pretty supposed to be able to take full sun and he's done really well this little guy didn't think he was gonna make it but he bounced back and look how nice that golem is doing everything is just gorgeous over here and this area I planted last so I think this was in a couple months ago and it's done really well <laughs> these have taken off like crazy. I really need to come through and just trim this all and repot these somewhere else because it kind of does them no good to just be laying over all the echeverias. But and then look at the aeoniums in the back. So there's those little ones that are all still closed up and then you have opened and ready to say hello to fall. So ready for fall. It was so hot this last September, which is always really hot, but I was just over it. I was definitely ready for some cool, crisp weather. Crisp for us anyway. And then the only other thing to show you guys was over here. This is where I ended up putting all of my leftover plants, which I realize looks like a lot, but once I start planting things in the ground, they go away real quickly. <laughs> but first of all, I have this really cool Kalanchoe, but see, it kind of looks like a paddle plant, but it, it's just basically green. It doesn't have any other color variation, and it's got that white farina, like, like a lot of farina, which is more than I've seen on most paddle plants. But then look, you can see in the middle, there's brand new leaves, and then he'll turn that nice pretty white over time. So that's really exciting. This I got my little, oh, uh, uh, let's see here if we can get, look how pretty he is. He was in the bargain basement and um, that's why he doesn't look his best. But for $2, I don't care. He'll look just fine later on. Also in the bargain basement, I went this past weekend and went to the nursery. I got him also bargain basement he's that's why like I said not his best but that's okay this one I got at water wise it was a little free succulent which is like in their ten dollar range but really he's one of the um chalk fingers of some kind some type of um cotyledon let's see here what else did I get that was super exciting oh you know what it's actually kind of exciting <laughs> so this one I had gotten in the bargain basement a while back um really small root system and he i cleaned them all up this past weekend because he had a lot of detritus and look at all the pretty babies just tons of them so that i'm really excited about he obviously is very shallow root system <laughs> yes large container he came in so i got a bunch of soil so that was nice Okay, well, I think that's mostly it. I think um, I gotta get to work. <laughs> um, oh, oh no, there's one more thing I wanna show you guys. It's kind of, it kind of surprised me, so I figured why not. This. Uh, can you see it? So what this is, is an aloe cameronii. Um, when I pulled him out of his pot, he was green. 
when he get, when they get a little stressed out, they turn red. He just turned red, which I actually prefer his stressed out color, but it took a good, I want to say six months even. I'm not exaggerating. Um, but so these are extremely hardy plants because look at that. Not only is he stressed out, he made a baby. So amazing. He's going to be going in the ground or a big pot pretty soon, but I just left him out here to a, remind myself to pot him. Okay. Well, I think I'm running late to work, so I got to get going. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and we will catch you guys again on the next video. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye.